Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of EverQuest 2. Now, we're in front of uh, Kanut Orc Band again, and yet he has another quest that was not uh, here earlier. Uh, as you guys may have remembered if you're watching some of the other videos, we finished off a quest with Theron uh, back underneath the ice in the uh, Rygor Cave. When we finished that up, we came out here and we saw that, oh, by the way, these guys have quests now, uh, which they didn't before. These two, Odin and Hilfred, are both uh, repeatable quests, which I did videos for, but Knut's isn't. You can tell that by the color of the little orb above his head. This one's yellow, uh, and those are little blue ones. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Knut and see what he wants us to do for his quest. No, Grizz. I said no. There's got to be another way. They'll try again. How about that? And then I say, what are you talking about? Grizz wants you to return to the caves under this island in search of the old magic. And then I ask him, but what am I looking for? I can do that, or I'm not going back down there, goodbye. So I'm asking, what am I looking for? He doesn't know, and neither do I. Well, then how am I supposed to find it? Uh, he wants you to take him with you. It's the only way for him to be sure that you find the source. Uh, I, do, uh, I do it, or I'll take him down with me. Uh, no, thank you. You can keep your companion to yourself. I'll tell him I'll take him with me. And it's called, Sometimes You Feel Like a Nut. And I'm surprised that's not actually not copyrighted. It's level 18. Uh, you have a gem. Level 1 white adornment for your head, forearms, legs, feet, neck, waist, and charm. It's 2 strength, 2 agility, 2 wisdom, and 2 intelligence. You also get uh, your first mount, apparently. And I'll control click on that so you can see what it looks like. Uh, make sure I'm not in guild chat. Yeah, I'm not in guild chat. And so this is your mount right here. Uh, it's a horse. That's actually pretty nice that you get a mount now. Uh, it's a 130% increase into your run speed. Uh, and it's uh, unlimited charges, so you can use it as many times as you want. In the old days, you had to be in like a, a level 1 or 2 guild uh, to be able to even have the option of buying a mount from one of the stable masters. And then it cost it like an outrageous amount of price. I don't remember what it was. It's like 60 or 80 platinum, which was a lot of money back then. It's not anymore, but it was back then. Uh, and that was the only way you could get a mount. They've added a few more ways you can get it. Now you can get it from Quest, and you can also get them from your uh, claim rewards if you happen to buy an expansion or something like that. Uh, but this is kind of nice. You're only level 20, and you're already getting your first mount. So let's close that down. You also get a chair, which uh, is not as impressive as the mount, but it's kind of nice to throw in your guild hall or your house. You're going to get uh, 27 silver and 29 copper, so let's go ahead and hit accept. You must wear him in order to hear him. Now promise to bring him back safe and sound, and do not be swayed by his bloodlust. He often forgets he is no longer no longer has claws. Ah, uh, wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, my inventory and look for the... There it is right there. There's Grizz. So apparently it's a head, so I'm going to drag it and put it on my guy. It didn't change my helmet. As you can see, my helmet is still here. So I'll put it under my appearance slot. Which is kind of nice. It doesn't actually take away from your character. Now we're going to have to go back down under the water. Make sure you put down uh, whatever enduring breath that you have. I have the enduring totem uh, from earlier. I've also taken off my illusion so that you don't see me turn you into a fish. Uh, but if you like that sort of thing, let me know and I might put it back on for you guys. Uh, depending on how many people vote for it. Now you don't have to, but I kind of like to change the screen. Uh, so that you can see the full effect of the game. Now remember these guys will eventually stop following you as soon as you get away from uh, you know a distance away from wherever they spawn uh, and again if you're not sure about where to go uh, but by this point you should be uh, you're just aiming for the little bubbles down there at the, the cave entrance and be aware that there are uh, people down here that will attack you whether it's going to be the fish or some of the roamers that are Rygors that you see right there at the entrance. There is a roamer inside the cave as well that is, is occasionally there. He he roams inside and outside, so sometimes you swim down, he, wait, he may not be there as you see one swimming right towards us right now. Uh, and I think that might be the roamer, so sometimes he's in there and sometimes he's not. Don't try swimming down here without sort of uh, some sort of enduring breath because you will not make it. As you can see, it's a very long swim. So we're going to go ahead and take this view off while we're still in the water. Apparently our hat 
is going to talk to her, uh, tell us what we're looking for, and perhaps pick on this uh, power that he supposedly can sense. Uh, because of that, I took off this little screen so that you guys can see if a message pops up. Uh, praise trail is cold here. Ack, I can hear you. Yes, Grizzrill, nuts friend. Apparently his vocabulary is not the greatest, but you know, he's a dead uh, bear, so I'll give him a break on that one. I will never doubt him again. So now you can see on the map it's blue, but it's blue in a very big area, so you're wondering where do we go now? Well, you're going to head this direction over here, and what you're looking for is a little tiny pouch uh, on a bench over there. You can see it glowing in the background, it's uh, blue, and it's right over here. Now you're probably going to have to kill this guy, or at least wait for him to walk off. Uh, to a certain safe distance. If you want to sneak by, if you're a rogue or something like that, you can do that pretty easy. And it tells you you're in striking distance, so it knows you're pretty close. So you're going to go ahead and loot that. I smell our prey here. It spent much time bedding down at this location, but it's not in the sack anymore. It has moved on, but we are on its trail. Where to next, Grizz? Deeper. How insightful. So what we're going to go ahead and do is head over here to this direction. And again, if you're careful, you won't have to worry about getting attacked. Prey trails grow warm, uh, finally, right? And then it says it's going to grow warm again in a second, too. What we're heading for is this little barrel over here. I am relieved by that. One of these barrels... You should run away! Maybe it's further in. One of these barrels has yeah. uh, a stone in it that you're going to click on. And it's been a while since I've done this quest, uh, about a year and a half, so I'm just trying to remember it uh, from what I've done before. Maybe it's those two barrels over there. It's one of these barrels. We'll have a stone in it that you want to click on, and you'll have to zoom out to be able to see it. So it's not this one. Wait for this realmer to go by. That's it. Strike or prey. The black shard? Grr, I said strike, claw it to bits, tear it open, and spill its guts upon the ice. I don't think it has guts. Alright, I'm doing it. So we're going to go ahead and move up a little bit, click on it, and it says you destroyed the necromantic totem. And it says return to Kanut Orkbane now that you have destroyed the necromantic crystal, the orcs within the tunnel. But since you're right here, there's no harm in taking on the named, uh, unless maybe you're not high enough, and then of course there is a little bit of harm there. So we're going to move up. I went ahead and put on my... Uh, my uh, my race uh, skill that I get yeah. it's feral rage and it increases my combat ability why uh, for about 36 seconds it's kind of a nice little thing it's not really necessary to kill this guy but it is a nice little boost and if you have it why not use it So we got a belt, 7 wisdom, 7 intelligence, 7 stamina, uh, waste, and it's level 10. Also an advanced craftsman volume. I told you before, this is a, to make advanced stuff, you can also uh, sell it on the broker or buy them on the broker if that's what you need. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run our way out, but I'm going to cast this on once again because by the time you finish this quest, chances are it is faded off. Away. It doesn't have a long uh, casting uh, you know, duration. Uh, it lasts for five minutes, I believe, and it takes about a minute and a half to two minutes to get down here in the first place, so if you do anything, any quest down here, you always want to make sure you have at least two charges, uh, one to get down and one to get back up. Crush. Go ahead and Crush. select myself real quick. I'll put on this. It's just a war to stop me from getting hit. 
uh, for a certain amount of damage. I believe it's 166 points. Taking Grizz back to the neck, I bet he's still missing you. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in, scroll down. And I'm going to leave this view on for now because I'm not sure if our hat, uh, or Grizz as we should call him, is going to say anything else along the trip. And if he does, I don't want to miss it. Now I'll be doing videos shortly on uh, Butcher Block. We will be starting that zone. As soon as I finish off, there's about four or five more quests here uh, that we haven't done yet. And then I'll do a or do a whole video on all the main bad guys, all the bosses for this zone, as well as just a complete walkthrough. Uh, for those of you who are interested in seeing what it looks like, I'll run around the entire zone uh, and show you every inch of it. From the beginning to all the little areas in the water to every NPC that's here, and I'll show you what they sell. Uh, and give you little tidbits about them, whether they were there for quest, or, you know, just a whole a slew of things that you can do here in the zone. And then I'll head over to Butcher Block as soon as it's done, the zone is completely done, uh, and there's no more questions that you might have. And I'll also show you our first video for grouping. We're going to go ahead and do that as well. Show you all the ins and outs, uh, how you can set the loot to need to greed, uh, for random, for pretty much anything that you want to do. Now you can see the running back is kind of a chore, but now that we're going to get our first mount, uh, this will be my second on this character because I did do one claim reward when I was running around earlier. Uh, but this will be our first mount as far as uh, you know most of us are concerned. And so we'll see exactly how fast we can run with that real quick. So we're going to talk to Kanut. Did you find the item of the old magic? Was Grizz able to help you find it? Yeah, we did. And we destroyed it. What? I thought he wanted to find it and use it. He had he he told me to destroy it. It was a black shard like the one that was being used to raise the Rigor skeletons. Ah, then it is best to destroy it. They must have wanted to plant it below New Hollis in order to bring forth an army of undead within the city. Good thing we found it. And so here you go, level 18. We ended up getting 53 silver and 22 copper, uh, and all these items: the gym, the new pet, or a new new mount and a, uh, a chair, so we're going to go ahead and accept. Now take this as you have earned it, and return to me my friend Grizz. Certainly, uh, I will miss him. And so now if you're wondering where your, your mount is, it's not in your backpacks. You, you might look in there and you'd be like, oh, where did they put it? Well, there's actually a button here, a tab, that has your mount. So what this is, is right here, we're going to drag it down to our equip. Now you can have something equipped, and have a different mount for your appearance if you want to uh, look a different way. So you can drag this button down to your hotbar, which we already have. Hello. And there it is, right there. You can see you finally got your horse, your ho your uh, a knight on a white steed. And again, guys, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, or as always, hit me up in game. Thanks again for watching.